these are feet. This is what is known as a human foot. One is foot for one foot and two is for feet, right? These are feet and these feet are touching the ground, right? They're touching the grass. They are touching the earth. They're touching the earth. And I started doing this on one of my psychedelic trips, right? Just naturally, naturally. I start take off my shirt, I, I take off my shoes, you know? And I was like, just not like spontaneously, you know? It's not, I didn't read about grounding. I, I didn't even know this, there's such thing as grounding. I just, I just did it because I felt like I wanna do it. I, because I felt like I wanna connect with the earth. And since then, whenever it's nice weather, unfortunately here in Canada, it's cold like eight months of the year. But in the summer months, I do it daily, almost daily. It feels pretty fucking good. It feels, my, my feet right now are super happy, man. They're super happy. They're like, they're making love to the grass, you know? And like the grass is like, making love to that man it's just like a love fest right now my feet are just uh, having sex with the grass having sex with the earth you know just making love man making sweet passionate love and it feels good you know it feels like you're recharging i don't i don't know i don't know how else to describe it it feels like you are recharging your battery like you're discharging negative ions or whatever. And um, I don't know. I don't know what the fucking, what the mechanics behind it is, what the science behind it is, but it feels pretty fucking good. That's all I can tell you. It's like an orgasm, right? Like you have an orgasm, like what are you going to do? You're going to explain an orgasm? It just feels good. It feels fucking good. Having an orgasm feels good. Having your feet touch the ground, touch the earth, Touch the mother earth, walking around barefoot on the earth, not on concrete, on the earth, feels very fucking good. Feels very refreshing, recharging, and um, they call it grounding. There's turns out there's such a thing for it called grounding, which is so bizarre. To me, it's so bizarre because it's like, would like natives will probably look at you in 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 you know the tribes in Amazon and stuff. They probably look at you and be like, like, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, grounding? What do you mean grounding? Like, they probably do that shit regularly. I'm sure they they have like footwear and stuff, like footwear. They wear footwear, uh, but I'm also pretty sure. I'm just making assumptions here, but I'm pretty sure like any sort of leftover tribes who are living in nature probably do quite a fair bit of walking around barefoot, right? Uh, and it really feels good, man. I don't know how else to explain it. Uh, like I say, it's like an orgasm. You can't explain it, but you know it feels good. Well, you know it feels good. There's something that feels good about walking on the earth barefoot, having your feet touch the ground, touch the earth. It's like establishing a connection between you and this planet that you live on because, you know, we live such disconnected lives. How many people like sit down and contemplate and think, holy shit, I'm living on an organic spaceship. I'm flying through space right now, man. How many people even think about that? Maybe we all think about it as kids, but as we grow older, and we get brainwashed, we become cogs in the machine, we become batteries for this socio-economic system, we lose this connection with the planet that we are on, that all of us, you know what, no matter where you are in the world, no matter what your religion, your race, your sexual orientation, you can look at the sky and you are looking at the same sky. 
you are looking at space. You can look at the moon and this is the same fucking moon that someone else on the other side of the planet is looking at. You can look at the sun and it's the exact same sun that you're looking at as someone else on the other side of the planet. And you realize, hold on guys, we're all living on the same planet. How about that, huh? No shit, Sherlock. It's, it, it, you know, once you realize that, like it almost like, how the fuck did I never realize that before? It's like walking in the woods and there's like a river in the background, right? But you're so caught up in your thoughts and you stop for a second and then you hear the sound of the river and you're like, wow, how the fuck did I not pay attention that there is a river and there's like, there's water in the background and like, I, you know, because you finally hear it for the first time, even though it's been there all, all this time. But you stop thinking, you stop getting caught up in your mind and you're like, whoa, how the fuck did I not pay attention to it? And from there on, every time you go by the river, you, you pay attention to it. Because now we realize, oh, it's there. It's the same thing. Like, it's almost like, you know, doing something like this, like grounding, just having your feet touch the ground, walk on the ground. It's almost like once you do it and you, you kind of feel a connection to the earth, you're like, how the fuck did I never pay attention to this? How did it never occur to me that I am on this organic spaceship? How did it never occur to me that I'm flying through the space? How did it never occur to me that like we are all like just flying through space? We're literally on an organic spaceship called Earth. And we share this planet. All of us, we share this planet. And that realization can make you, first of all, feel a sense of unity, of oneness with your fellow human beings, with your, with your fellow beings with your fellow birds with your fellow animals with your fellow plants you're like hey guys we're all doing this together we're all here together we're on this planet together but you know we're so disconnected man the system disconnects us the socioeconomic system disconnects us it starts off with wearing shoes with being in cities with living in apartments, living in houses, then the mind control becomes so strong that you even forget where the house you live in came from, where the car you're driving came from, where the shoes, you know, like the shoes, man. Like I have these shoes. I gotta, I'm gonna go buy new shoes. These, like I, f look at them. They're like, look at that. It's, I, I make sure I fuck up my shoes before I buy new ones. Like, I make sure I give them a run for my money. See this? Like this, shoes came from the earth. Even, like, we never think of that, but these shoes came from the earth. They came from nature. So we never think of it like the clothes you wear comes from nature. We're so disconnected. We don't think, we don't think outside the box. We don't think about the bigger picture because the mind control is so potent man it's so potent the guys who are in control the whatever you want to call them the illuminati the guys that are in control and they're a small small minority of of people they know how to keep this shit they they're smart that's why they call themselves the illuminati the illuminated right I don't care what you call them, but they're there. Uh, industrialists, bankers, whatever you want to call them. This is a small group, elite group of people. They're smart and they know how to keep people in control. They know how to keep us disconnected from the earth. And they know as soon as we come back and connect to the earth again, to, to the organic vibration of the planet, then we'll wake up, we'll realize we're all one, we're all connected. We all share the same sun, the same moon, the same planet, the same resources. We're all one, basically. The one human family, the one earth family, because it goes beyond human. It goes beyond human. We share this planet, all of us beings together. And I know it sounds hippie-ish, cliche, but we got to fucking save this planet, bro. 
We gotta save this planet. We gotta save this planet. Now, <laughs> beyond this hippie rant that I'm on here, I have no solutions to offer you. So I am sorry for ranting without having solutions, right? The cl classic hippie rant. You rant, you say some stuff that makes sense, you know, that touches you on an emotional level, but I, ha I have no practical solutions at the moment. But uh, I'm, I'm searching, I'm researching, I'm looking, I'm open, my eyes are open, my ears are open. And um, once I see the solutions, I can start to preach them here. I mean, I'm fucking, I'm a pretty, pretty much an idiot. Really, I'm just like a, a rambler. I'm just a preacher. You know, we got guys like Elon Musk who have practical solutions. And that's good. Everybody plays their part. But as I, you know, see these solutions and understand them, I'll do my part of preaching and preach them here on this channel. Uh, so that's it. Try this grounding stuff, man. It's great. It's amazing. It's beautiful. It feels, you feel, your soul feels rejuvenated. Your body's rejuvenated. Your connection to the planet is rejuvenated. Uh, and it just, it just feels natural. Like it feels, it feels like, yeah, that's what I'm supposed to do. Like I'm supposed to be on this planet, walking around barefoot, interacting with the grass, interacting with the elements. God bless you all, guys. I love every single one of you. But don't forget to subscribe or you're going to sleep with the fishes.